And in the spirit of internationalism, I was hoping that you could speak a little bit about the UAPA in India, and in particular, the arrest and imprisonment of so many, including Dr. Sai Baba, who was recently given a life sentence. Uh, quite unjustly. Um, thank you for asking that. He's a friend of mine, actually. Uh, they're talking, he's talking about a professor uh, called Sai Baba, who uh, is uh, actually a, a good friend of mine, who uh, is 90% disabled in a wheelchair and has been sentenced to life imprisonment for being a Maoist. And uh, his real crime was, along with me, being one of the people who campaigned against what was known then as Operation Green Hunt, where the government was, had created vigilante groups as well as moved paramilitary forces, tens of thousands, into the forests of central India, where they had signed members of, uh, sorry, memorandums of understanding, moving indigenous people out of the land to give it over to mining companies. And uh, so there was absolute violence inside those villages. You had thousands of paramilitary surrounding villages and deep inside the forest, setting them on fire, raping people, killing people, displacing people. And uh, uh, Professor Sa and, and there's a law, I mean, there are law, we are, of course it's the same in the US, but we, are, we call ourselves a democratic country, but we have a law like the law he mentions, the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, which makes even thinking an anti-government thought a criminal offense. So you have thousands of people, the poorest people, in jail in central India, uh, people who are protesting displacement, are being called anti-national. They are uh, arrested under this law or under a law of sedition, thrown into jail. I, in fact, am also under trial right now, criminal trial, for having written a piece about Professor Sai Baba called Professor POW, where I, I just said that he should be given bail because his wheelchair was broken. He was having to crawl around his prison cell on all fours. And they, uh, of course, gave him bail but reconvicted him and uh, charged me with contempt of court. But yes, so in this flourishing democracy, there are vast parts which are literally under army and police rule. In Kashmir, the army is turned into a bloated administrative force. In Chhattisgarh, in central India, the police are turning into the army. Either way, people are living under a kind of military rule.